guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the haul of stuff that Eric and I picked up um, at the last yard sale footage video that you saw. We actually went to a, actually two community yard sales and one benefit sale. So we did find um, a decent amount of stuff. I'm so glad we went to the first community sale first because we definitely found more there. Uh, that's the trouble with like putting together like compiling a yard sale list um through the week is trying to figure out where to go first because you just never know sometimes sometimes you make the good decision sometimes it's the bad decision but this past week was a good decision and um, it did end up raining though um what was it we went out thursday it ended up raining friday so we didn't go out at all and then we went back out on saturday and again it was like very dreary and like spritzy type of rain it wasn't the best week weather wise for yard sales but i am happy with what we found so um let's just get started i'll start with the christmas ornaments first the very first yard sale you saw i picked up a bag full of vintage christmas ornaments for five dollars i haven't listed those yet i'm gonna go through them see if there's any that are worth maybe potentially listing by themselves if not i will lock them up um but i did get this blown glass christmas ornament at one yard sale and it's shaped like a mushroom this is by a company called whitehurst and a lot of the times they will have hooks on the top shaped like christmas trees so that's one way to tell but this is blown glass mushroom mushrooms are really hot i feel like mushrooms have been hot for a while now uh, but they still are i pay 50 cents for this ornament and i have it listed as a buy it now for 19 dollars 99 also at the same yard sale i got the christmas pickle again blown glass ornament and this one still has its whitehurst tag on it so this one here we paid 50 cents as well and i listed this one as a buy it now for 16 dollars 99 eric found this blown glass um like mariachi band member playing the guitar and uh this one i'm not sure who it's made by but it's still really nice with the glittery accents so 50 cents for him and again, I listed him as a buy it now also for $19.99. He's a large one. Eric found this um, shoulder holster at the yard sale. This was the same yard sale we got the um, ornaments at. I'm pretty sure uh, the man who lived there was a police officer because there was a lot of like firearm stuff and things like that. Uh, but this is by some company called Galco. And it's all leather shoulder holster, brand new. So this was a really good pickup. He paid $25 for this and we have it listed as a buy it now for $159.99. It has a lot of watchers. So I think it's gonna go fairly quickly. So same yard sale, we found this Hobby Master um, die cast plane. So it looks like this, it is an F100D Super Saber. So it looks like that. And all the pieces are inside. So pretty much like new. Um, this here we paid $5 for and have this listed as a buy it now for $134.99. So a lot of great pickups at that particular yard sale. This one was a good one. At that same sale, I picked up a book. There were a lot of good books there. Um, I just don't always have the time to stand at a yard sale and look everything up. You know, you have to do things quickly so you can get to the next sale before other stuff gets swiped up. So I only scanned a couple of books. I probably could have found more books that were valuable, um, but I just grabbed this one here. I paid just 25 cents for it and it sold as a buy it now for $28.99, like right away. <laughs> I don't sell a whole lot of books. Um, I don't consider myself necessarily a book seller, but there are some books out there that sell very fast, and this was one of them. Um, I got this Sagittarius, this little Zodiac um, necklace pendant at a yard sale. Eric actually found this. It was $1, and this is my Zodiac sign. Um, it's in this thing so you can wear it as a necklace pendant, but you can also take it out. It's like a little like coin, basically. So $1 for this. Listed this as a buy it now for $14.99. Found a lava lamp. This is a smaller one. Looks like 
this. We typically pick up lava lamps regardless. Um, most lava lamps do sell. It doesn't necessarily matter if they're like super old or anything like that. Um, this one was only a dollar. We listed it for a buy it now of $28.99. It has a lot of watchers, so I do feel like it'll go um, here soon. So not bad for a dollar. This really nice Murano bowl. It's this cased blue glass. It has some pretty like, I don't even know if you want to call that purple there's the the flaky gold um glittery look inside of there and the lady actually said like when we were checking out like she actually did purchase this in italy so um uh, it's a really nice heavy duty piece we paid um <clears throat> we paid just one dollar for it and i have it on auction with a starting price of 34 dollars and 99 cents also at her sale um we picked up this paperweight has these really pretty flowers in no makers marks or anything like that but um i haven't listed this yet i don't know if i'm going to um it's probably going to just be maybe like a whatnot thing or um potentially just put in my booth so i haven't decided yet um yes i keep saying my booth i don't have we don't have it yet but it will be coming <laughs> and then same with this guy we got at her sale as well um this is a moon and stars like amber compote like candy dish um i'm pretty sure we paid two dollars i want to say for this one um again not listed not sure what i'm doing with it quite yet so got this at her sale it's a little mini boys halloween bear i actually have i'm pretty sure i have this one listed already i'm fairly certain i have three of this exact same one but i'm still picking them up i think i've said before like the mini boys some of them can sell really 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 well and i feel like um the the prices on them aren't as high as they were in the past so um, I definitely feel like it's something that will come back around again, but right now the prices aren't aren't as fantastic on some of them. But Halloween themed, had to get it, it was 10 cents. So I picked up these vintage pillows. So it's a set of two of these. I'm assuming someone handmade these. I honestly have no idea. The um, fronts of them are kind of like a terry cloth material. Like maybe they were made out of a towel with these lace edges. And then the back is just like a beige color. Um, but they have frogs and mushrooms on. They were a quarter a piece, so 50 cents. And I listed these on auction with a starting price of $39.99. So we'll see. Again, like frogs and mushrooms, can't go wrong with those. I know they have quite a few watchers. Um, we found this Fenton Cabbage Rose three-piece fairy lamp. So this is the base, then you have the little votive holder, and then this is the shade topper for it. So all together, it looks like this when it is completed up. And this was only $1, um, I listed it as a buy it now for $44.99. Um, we found this little Fenton glass. This is a birthstone bear for February. So he has a little um, purple amethyst birthstone heart there. And these Fenton bears really aren't worth much, but he was just a dollar. So I decided to take him and I listed him as a buy it now for $12.99 my little pony puzzle so when I picked this up at the sale I think I had mentioned like I wasn't sure if all the pieces were there and that kind of thing so it's one of those things where like sometimes you just have to take the risk so I took the risk on it and I put it together and all the pieces were there so it all worked out I listed this as a buy it now for $12.99 two packs of oh, they're upside down two packs of Disney um, stickers and I think these actually came from the park, um, one of the Disney parks. So this one is 100 stickers of Mickey and Friends. So I listed this as a buy it now for $9.99. And then I also got the Pooh and Friends, again, 100 stickers, um, buy it now, $9.99. I did end up picking up this vintage Koosh ball game. It's called Flingshot. Um, 
Unfortunately, this is missing two of the Koosh Flingers. It has two in here, but there should have been four. It's still a playable game. Um, you don't necessarily need all four to play the game. You can share the Koosh's, you know, with the other player. Um, but all the rest of the pieces are there. So um, I did pick this up. I couldn't find any currently listed, so to me, that's a good sign. Um, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $24.99. I've seen it sell for as high as $50 in the past. So just wasn't quite sure if anyone was like looking for it right now. <laughs> Eric found this purse. At first I thought maybe this was like a lounge fly purse, but it's not. It is a pumpkin shaped purse, perfect for Halloween or every day. Uh, this is by a company called Trick or Treat Studios. The inside is a little dirty, uh, but the outside looks pretty good. There's just like a little spot here on the back. Uh, we paid $5 for the purse and listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. We got two brand new packages of these inflatable Easter eggs. I'm going to say they're from like late 80s, early 90s era. So there's three inflatable eggs inside of here for Easter. They're still sealed. We paid 50 cents a piece. I do have another bag. I only have one currently listed only because um, there's like an ever so slight difference. Like this one has a price tag sticker. I don't think the other one does and it has a different sticker and I don't want someone to like buy it and then they're like, that's not what was pictured. I know I don't think like many people would care about the price tag sticker, but I don't want any kind of like item not as described deal thing. So I only listed the one so far. And I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. Next item, I'm going to just pop up a picture because it's fairly large. This is a kid, like toddler aged kids gingerbread house. It's by Step 2 and it's just a plastic gingerbread house. It comes with all of these pieces so you can uh, decorate the gingerbread house. It makes noise. It's musical. Very, very cute and interactive type of toy. So I knew that the there's a Step 2 Christmas tree that is a bolo. I knew about that one. I had never seen the gingerbread house. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if that's as popular as the Christmas tree by step two. And it definitely is worth it. Um, I only paid $5 for the gingerbread house and I listed it as a buy it now for $89.99. So definitely one to keep an eye out for. Like I said, I had never seen one of these before out in the wild. At one yard sale, I found this totally vintage denim purse by Sassoon. Um, this is definitely from the 80s for sure. So it is a denim bag. It's got this drawstring um, and then the two, you know, shoulder straps. So I decided to pick this up. I couldn't find anything when I looked it up. Like I couldn't find any purses that were listed, like denim purses by Sassoon listed. Um, I did pay $1 for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. So this is perfect for someone who is maybe going to like an 80s party or something like that. You know, you need to have a purse to do, you know, take all your stuff in. So that's why I got it. I found about that type of thing. And then I'm sure there are people who would totally just carry this purse for fun. Found these coach leather little slip on driving loafers. These are really nice. Had they have been my size, I would have kept them. These are a size eight and they're in really nice condition. Um, the insides are a little banged up on the leather and you can see, and I didn't notice this when I purchased them, but underneath here, like you can see like the leather is starting to crack a bit. I did moisturize it, but I do still feel like, you know, it's, it's probably going to start flaking off but the outsides are in great condition um they look really nice i cleaned them all up with like my leather cleaner and my leather conditioner so i think they look pretty good but i did pay two dollars for these and i ended up listing them for a buy it now of 22 dollars and 99 cents i got this really weird <laughs> elf um i wasn't sure what it was at the time that i picked it up it was 50 cents 
Um, so when I was looking it up, I, I think it's supposed to be Martha Stewart. I didn't put that in my title of the auction because I wasn't quite certain. Um, apparently I think they came out with a Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart, <laughs> like elf on a shelf type thing. Um, and I think this is supposed to be like the Martha Stewart version. So I paid 50 cents for it. I don't really know. Like I looked it up on eBay and I think I only saw two others listed. Um, and I listed mine as a buy it now for $12.99. So we'll see. Eric found these two little vintage, um, they're made by, they're made with like little chenille, uh, pipe cleaners. It's a Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit. Um, he has a little cane and a top hat and she has a basket and some flowers in her hand. So I listed these together for a buy it now of $19.99. Eric also found these ceramic tumbling snowmen. There were only three of them. And super funny story, we found these before and it was only a set of three. So I don't quite know why that is like if there were only a set of three of these i'm not sure it's just really weird the two times we found them and they were only in a set of three so the ones that i currently have haven't sold yet so i did not list these um so they're probably just gonna wait until the other ones sell eric also found these starbucks um halloween themed reusable hot cups these have glow in the dark lids we did pay seven dollars for these i don't think that these are really worth much um, those are the ones that you can see on the back. So I might just keep these for myself because I have a little bit of a Starbucks cup collection. Not really large. I try not to go too crazy when I see them. But, um, you know, typically when I find them at yard sales, they're cheaper than, you know, retail. These would have retailed $14.95. So, um, and obviously they don't make them anymore. And there's six, six cups and six lids in there. So haven't decided yet what I'm doing with those. I also got this at the same yard sale. This is a Too Faced Natural Love eyeshadow palette. I paid $5 for this. I love Too Faced makeup. It's one of my favorite makeup brands. I just really like their packaging and all of that. So it's in new condition. So I decided to, to get it. Okay, weirdly enough, this looks like it has a signature on it. Is that, I don't, is that how they are? Whose signature would that be? I'm not entirely sure. If anyone has this palette, let me know if like that's supposed to be there. <laughs> Cause I really don't know. That's weird. I'll have to see, like if not, like I need to figure out who's, <laughs> whose autograph that is. Uh, but this is what the shades look like. They're absolutely beautiful. And they honestly, like I don't think was ever used or swatched. So that was a great deal for $5 in my opinion. And these are colors I will definitely use. I love neutral um, eyeshadow shades. So great deal for $5. And then we can't forget <laughs> our big old Santa Claus here, can we? I found this really large <laughs> stuffed plush Santa Claus. He was just $25. He's got like a plasticky rubber face. He looks like this. He's very, very big. Um, I saw him, I, I spotted him before Eric like parked the truck and I was practically squealing on my way up to <laughs> the house because like I knew in my mind I wanted this but obviously I didn't know what the price was on it and as soon as I saw it was only $25 I'm like yes it's mine like this is a great score for $25 in my opinion. I feel like I could easily probably get 200 for him. Um, so obviously he's not listed yet. I ha I'm not <laughs> for certain yet if I'm going to list him on eBay or not. Obviously we're gonna have to find a box for him if we do. Um, and he does need a little bit of cleaning obviously. Uh, but overall I think he's in really nice condition for his age. Um, his little tag down here says um he's by a company called big stuff he's from 1983 so he's not like super duper old but still old um and yeah people love stuff like this i mean i love stuff like this people love oversized stuff like this like display type size like store display type size um and then at the yard sale there were just a bunch of other large um 
Christmas plushies. There was a Pepsi Santa, a Pepsi snowman, and then these Pepsi themed carolers. Um, and I guess maybe the man had worked for Pepsi at one point. So like that's how he was able to, to get these cause they were like store, store display type pieces. Um, so when I first was at the sale, I only purchased him and we left the sale and we went yard sailing other places. And I told Eric, I was like, I'd mainly be interested in the snowman more than anything else when I was like looking up comps on like the other pieces. Um, so we went back after we were done yard sailing and they were all still there. So we figured we'd ask if he'd make a deal if we like took all the rest of them. So like obviously he wouldn't have to take them back inside and sold them. I think we paid 80 or $85 for the rest of them. So I think that was a great deal to pick up all of the rest at that price. I do think that they will sell. Um, they're one of, they're like something that you're just not going to come across very often type of thing. So regardless if we sell them on eBay or maybe save them for our booth or whatever, um, I do think that they will go and we'll make a decent profit on them. So, but I was really excited about this guy. Pretty much everything for uh, this yard sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think this was a really great week for yard sales and I'm so excited uh, for the upcoming weeks just to see what for goodies we can potentially find. So, hope you guys are finding some good stuff as well and I will see you next time.